Hello, welcome to LEV Toys, right back at the beginning of the year. In fact, on February the 14th, which was Valentine's Day, I posted this picture on my Instagram page, which was of my Valentine's Day present, which was this gorgeous smart doll. But some of you actually spied some, some of my little custom pieces that I was making in the background. And you know what? I actually made them in January and it's now June and it has taken me this long to get to doing the video for these custom dolls. But here we go, we are doing it today. Today we are making, well actually I'm just gonna show you and we're gonna finish them off because these were impossible to try and make on video. And I'll tell you why, these are LOL Lego dolls custom version. All right, so I decided that I was going to, I actually wanted to make three, but first up, I decided I was gonna make Fanime. Fanime is going to be the most perfect Lego mini doll. So to make Fanime, we've already got the right kind of skirt. So I just painted it blue and I painted her some little red and white sneakers with white socks for her top. And for her torso, we had to paint it white and I put a blue bow on and some red stripes just to match her LOL version. And here is her face, which is where I came unstuck <laughs> trying to actually demonstrate in a video. Uh, yeah, we'll talk a bit more about the face in a moment, but anyway, here's her hair. I decided to use this little black bob because it just works so cute, so perfectly. I drilled a hole at the top because there's no actual hole in the top of this hair piece so that I could put in this repainted bow. And there we go. Now we have got a Lego version of Fanime and I think she looks very cute but totally totally odd. <laughs> now this is the mini doll we started with. We actually started with this version of Olivia. I had to wipe her face off entirely, erase her face and then trying to paint the eyes which are basically three concentric circles within each other and sim you have to try and get them symmetrical and oh my goodness it was it was nigh and impossible so I gave up doing a video of that I just thought I'd show you the finished product okay so we made Fanime and I mentioned I was gonna make three but I totally gave up and I made two so the second one I made is Splash Queen and I chose Splash Queen for several reasons but here is one of them is that I already had a pink mermaid tail so hello that's perfect and this little blue top this little swimsuit top is also perfect I painted a pink necklace on for her and here is her face which turned out very well <laughs> considering how hard I found it to actually paint these eyes even vaguely symmetrically on her face and her hair piece is actually Dottie's hair piece and it's perfect even though it's great we're gonna paint that so that's what we're gonna do today we are actually going to paint the hair piece and hopefully she won't look quite so odd with gray hair <laughs> at the end okay all right so today we are going to finish up Splash Queen and we need to make this gray hair sparkly aqua blue so we're gonna need to put it on a stand as you can see, this stand is really very colourful. It's had a lot of painting experience. Uh, today I'm going to try a new paint. I'm going to try this Deco Art Glamour Dust one because apparently it's you can use it on plastic. So we're going to give this a try. But first up, we're actually going to put a base coat on. So this is actually just white. So a white base coat, which I've just put a teeny tiny touch of blue in just because I could. So if we cover this over nice and thickly with our base coat then we won't need so many coats over the top to actually make the more vibrant color that's the plan that's the theory that's how it should work so you should always put a base coat on if you're trying to cover over a color that's quite different from the one that you're about to be using though this light gray wouldn't have been too hard to cover over I don't think okay so kind of looks all right really doesn't matter what it looks like in your first stage of painting because it's just the first layer and you don't really want to put it on too thickly because it'll take forever to dry so don't do that lots of thin layers of paint are a much better idea all right so base coat looks pretty good I'm just making sure I'm completely covered and now that that's dry isn't that magical now we're gonna start adding our sparkly deco art dazzling glitter dust paint and see how this goes and how it is actually going is that I obviously did not wait till my undercoat was completely dry so it's all mixing in together uh, well hopefully hopefully it'll all turn out all right in the end let's let that dry properly and then let's add another coat this time it is properly dry 
And this time we'll be able to see, I think, our colour and our sparkle really starting to come out. It's such a pretty colour. And we need to make sure we just get these little underside bits so that we don't miss anything. And when this is dry, see how much darker it gets when it dries? We're going to add, I think, just one more coat we're going to need and then we'll be done and we'll try it on Sparkle Queen and just hope that it finishes up <laughs> making her look really, really cute. There we go, nice and dry. Very, very dry and nice and sparkly too. That worked very well. Okay, let's put it on Splash Queen and let's see, oh, it does look good. Looks really good. Okay, so let's check her out next to her LOL original. She looks really good. And what about you, Fanime? Let's put her next to, oh, hold on, we just knocked over. <laughs> knocked over Splash Queen. There, and we've got Fanime next to her LOL version. And I think I actually managed to recreate them pretty well. I'm not certain that mini dolls actually look that good as LOL dolls, but you know what? It was a fun experiment, except for the eyes. The eyes made me just want to give up, but I didn't. I persevered and now I've got two of the slightly strange looking Lego LOL mini dolls. Enjoy! Now, if you enjoy these sort of videos, you know what I want you to do. And you know that subscribing is really important so that you can get notified when new videos go up. I love to read your comments and find out what you thought of this idea, whether you thought they just turned out looking really dodgy or whether you thought they were actually quite successful. Make sure you check out some of my other videos before you wander off into the big world of YouTube and I'll see you with a new video very very soon. <laughs> Bye!